Yeah, they did. Unfortunately, they uh, the boys actually the first twenty they really controlled it and they played the style of what we practiced. Uh, we obviously only well we had three training sessions and I was really confident going in uh, if we could we were able to hold our sort of structures and the play that they wanted to that uh, we'd be able to do some or uh, we'll play some good footy and I thought they did in that twenty. Just unfortunately at the back end of that first half, um, you know completion rates dropped, which then increased the missed tackles. Uh, the pressure on us, you know, just became strong and you know, little areas of the game. That's the biggest thing I think this group needs to take out of is at moments in test matches change games and you know, we kicked it dead three times off kickoffs and just put so much pressure on ourselves and um, that's something that uh, the group will take away and you know, full credit to a lot of younger guys. Uh, they actually showed me that we've got some really good depth coming through and uh, I was really impressed with some of the younger guys so uh, it's given me a lot to work with uh, moving forward. What about the debuts on Zisa? I mean yeah, yeah, he was good. I thought, I thought across all, all of them. Uh, obviously, you know, we had seven there. They all, they all put their hands up. Uh, and uh, for Desan, you know, he definitely showed some really good footy there. And down that right edge, he skipped the outside, and then he came back through the middle, and uh, he really troubled them on that side. Parker, you uh, brought Southie to America for a game as an event. How did you rate that? Um, today? Uh, we never had a game. He was oh. South. It was just a, a tour, uh, oh, training right. camp, I suppose. But. Uh, as an event, it was um, yeah. I thought it was really good. Uh, obviously, yeah, it's uh, it's new to this into America, and uh, I think they made plenty of noise when the the, the boys were contacting. There were a couple of decent hits out there, and uh, it, um, it sort of brought the noise levels up. And I think sort of our style of play at times uh, that really showed some good footy. And then uh, you know the crowd came into the game, so there's probably a few out there that didn't know what was going on, but uh, they enjoyed a few spectacles <laughs> or parts of it anyway. Do you think there's a future for rugby league in this country? Oh, definitely. Of course there is. I think. Um, you know, one thing the Americans do, they get behind their sport. And I think if uh, you know, we can get rugby league into the American market, I think it's, uh, it's going to be huge. You know, they like contact, uh, they like the defensive side of the game, so I think it would grow if uh, we're able to bring ourselves uh, further into the American market. Would you rather come back next year? Yeah, I would. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a really good trip. I uh, know we didn't get the result, um, and it, that hurts. And you know, as a team, we're, we're hurting around that. But um, as a, an opportunity to bring a group of men away to uh, an experience, we went into the Denver Broncos, we saw a baseball game. Uh, their training was um, really good. Uh, it showed there in that first 20 minutes, but we just put so much pressure on ourselves and that's something obviously that we need to get that right blend of our footy in so then we can uh, you know, challenge at this level. You know, and uh, these younger guys, are, as I said, have taken away a great experience. Isaac, how was that as an experience in your career? You know? <coughs> Stepping up there, um, obviously we didn't get the result and you know, we came over here to do a job, but um, may everyone you know, they took soaked in the atmosphere, and um, as much as the crowd loved it, we you know, we enjoyed it on the field as well. How important was it for you and the rest of your team to be here and do this today? Yeah, I, like my mates said, we we're trying to spread the game of rugby league across the world, and um, it'd be good if you know, obviously America could. Um, I know they've got a national team in uh, Tom Hawks, I think, and uh, I think I've talked to a few supporters out there that play club footy, so it's good for them that. <coughs> Um, obviously witness two top tier teams um, going at it. Michael, how confident are you going into the um, Tour Series this year? Yeah, I think we're going to be pretty confident. Yeah, we're going to be pretty confident. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a lot away from that game. I, I think there's a, a lot of um, young men that have had an experience. It's, uh, and, and I said to them, uh, they've got to take that now back into their club land and make sure that they step up. Because between now and the end of the season, I, I will choose obviously another squad. Uh, but a lot of those young men have, have given me uh, um, a real confidence in around the depths of where we're going with the New Zealand team. Uh, you know, there's a, a number of uh, pretty handy players sitting on the sidelines. So you know, to be able to bring that sprinkling of experience back in, and you know, you've got to remember, England have got a very experienced team. They've been playing together for quite some time, um, and a lot of the younger guys that have come in, you know, they now they're, they now know the level that we've got to go to. And I think they should take a lot of confidence out throughout periods of that game. We really challenged them, and we actually dominated. So you know, we've just got to make that now uh, a longer period and play it for 80 minutes and make sure we don't kick it dead a few times. Obviously the altitude was a factor when you kicked it, you already had a performance 20 as well, I think. Um, yeah, it was a pretty handy one. <laughs> Did it make up for it? <laughs> yeah. No, but like, what, what was it like and how hard was it to adjust out there? Um, no, it was, it, was, no, it was pretty tough, to be perfectly honest, but we were over here 
training in it for the last three days and I thought the boys got used to it. Um, the heat definitely stung us, but I may see we're in it. We had pretty much rolled them over the first 20 minutes. So uh, the back end in that first half, we were biting them back in and then sort of gave them a, <coughs> a second leg coming in the second half. So definitely little moments that we need to take care of. And you know, I put my hand up for a couple of them, you know, kicked the ball twice, I did twice, or three times actually. So um, yeah, definitely a lot of things that we can work on and yeah, I see a, a good future here. Yeah. Isaac, the way Madden second ago said that the time to start fighting for next year's game is now. Um, and you know, when you're talking about the players speaking up and, 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 and actually sort of uh, pushing <coughs> back against the NRL and the clubs, do you think the Kiwi players would be part of that fight? Do you think they would be outspoken to have this game on next year? Yeah, I think uh, no, the, the, the majority himself, you know, whoever's brought, uh, brought over, I've got come over, sorry. And, you know, the RLPA have done a fantastic job in trying to uh, balance things up for us. Um, you know, we're, we're making sure that we're negotiating with them and making sure that, uh, that we're doing the right things by the NRL and, and our club. So um, to be able to bring games over here would be, be good. I know it's supposed to be a World Cup in, in a couple of years. Um, you know, 20, 2025, and I'll be 50 years old. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, look. I think the more we can broadcast this game across the world, it'd be, it'd be good for us. Isaac, a lot of the boys spoke this week about putting pride back into the Kiwi jersey. Yep. Do you feel like you did that? <coughs> you started to do that today despite the loss? Yeah, it's definitely, 100%. Uh, so, you know, we, I, know we, I know we lost, but we can definitely build on what, what we did today. Uh, we got a lot of young fellows that really put their hands up and obviously making matches draw pretty hard to be able to select a team at the end of the year. So. Um, we could keep the same team and obviously add and then whoever's off um, sitting at home. Yeah. What's your representative future hold? Is that the last time you pulled on the jersey? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask the good fellow over here. Oh. But um, no, I'll put my hand up if I... I'll, I'll put my hand up. I'm glad, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put my hand up to play. Um, no, the, the years are starting. I think it's a real credit to Joe <coughs> Isaac. I mean, you know, I'd, I actually spoke to Isaac about sort of being a, a strong leader around our team um, you know, when I selected the team and, and he's definitely shown that and I think this year how he's gone about his footy and the way he's playing um, you know, really shows he's got a, life still, a lot of life is still left in that jersey. Um, there were great moments in that game that uh, you know, he showed you know, in and around or getting the boys around the park and, and people don't really understand a lot of that sort of stuff that goes on but he's chatting around the younger guys, um, you know, it's vital and it just builds the confidence and the belief in those young fellas too. So. Make sure he hangs around for this one. Any injuries on that? Do you have on the uh, At the moment, I think Ray's got a bit of a sore hand, but other than that, he's, it's all okay. But I think probably from the, you sort of asked the question there, Steve, about just the international game. I mean, this is my first time that I've um, been fortunate to be around the international game, and you know, it's actually very special. I think, uh, you know, I, I always knew it was special, but it's, it's, a, it's right up there in the, obviously the experiences that I've been able to have as a, as a coach. And I think, you know, that we should bring it together more. Uh, in, in some way, and I'm sure the people in the background are doing that, but I think, uh, you know, I hope everyone realises how special international football is, and off the back of the World Cup, uh, you know, it was shown that, but I think uh, across everywhere in uh, the rugby league world, we've uh, got to recognise that we've got a very special product, and if we can get that out more like we did today, I think uh, it's going to really grow our game. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Didn't South play Leeds in Florida? Yeah, oh, JJ was, was there before you.